What's up? This is Homjack, and uh, you know what I realized while I was making this video, while I was watching this gameplay, is prisoner is like a prison. When you're spawning on the bottom, and you have to figure out how the hell to get up top with the other team just shooting at you, and your teammates are freaking two guests and one guy who doesn't know what he's doing most of the time. And what I'm trying to say is my team is full of guests, and there's three people on my team who combine for six kills. And here's a hint, I'm not one of those people. This video is kind of about things that piss me off. You're really starting to piss me off. It's not even really that they piss me off, it's more like things I just don't understand. Like, when you get zero kills in a game, okay, like not one, but z extermination. Zero kills. Does that make you want to play again? I mean, I get that you're at your buddy's house, you know, jumping on some Halo to have some fun, but check out the scoreboard right here. My team has eight kills. I have eight kills. Can you figure out what that means? Something's not right, but that's okay. But are you actually having fun in this game? Skyhawk2119. I don't know, man. And, you know, here's how it works. If there's a guy with one guest, you might be okay. Maybe. You know, it's possible that they both play Halo, they just happen to be at one person's house. It might not be a problem. But when you get three, four people on the same Xbox, that's your danger sign right there, okay? That's like party status. That's like everyone is drunk and it's not going to be good for you. And they're definitely going to end up on your team, unless... It's a 4v4 playlist, and there are actually four of them, then you are set. Nothing to worry about. Instant win. But what I was getting at a minute ago is, how many games of getting slaughtered does it take for these, these couch parties to say, alright, we're done? How long can it go on? Basically what I want to know is, what's going through their head in a game like this? If you can tell me that, then you earn a cookie or something, I don't know. Anyway, moving on to another thing I don't understand. Why people choose certain gamer tags, or why people do certain things to their gamer tag. I mean, you start off with your Xbox Live generated tag, which is always an adjective, not a noun, and then a number. Okay, so it's like spiky zebra or something 46 and it usually makes even less sense than that which is fine and then you get to change it for free but some people don't change it some people keep it like that and maybe they just don't know you can change it or maybe they're waiting to think of something really good although I don't know what's better than spiked zebra then there are the people who are like master chief 117 Except there are all kinds of numbers and lead speak and crap in there because, you know, the original was obviously taken a long time ago, but they want to be cool too. And I'm just like, I can't read that, and if you have to stuff that many numbers in there in place of letters, that's like a sign that maybe you should think of something more original, maybe? I don't know. If I make a, a gamer tag or a username, that's awesome or clever, I want the awesomeness and cleverness to be immediately apparent to people reading it. You know, especially if it's in a game where people only get a quick glance at it sometimes. Therefore, something that pisses me off and something I would never do is alternate capital and lowercase letters in your name. I would rather you just make your whole name in caps. I mean, that's pretty bad. Capital letters is like the person who's a little bit slow in the head, but alternating letters is like the kid who fakes it, who pretends he's slow, to get extra attention. It's the difference between Master Chief and Master Chief. Anyway, this game is winding down. Skyhawk2119, your gamer tag is not bad. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for your friend's Halo abilities. I'm sorry I couldn't carry three people at once, but I can look into getting a new backpack, so don't worry.
for everyone else, this has been Homjek. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to check out my channel for more shenanigans and sometimes even useful information. Talk to you later.